Hello guys, welcome to, uh, welcome to my survival server, uh, this is a server that I set up with my friend a long, 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 so very long time ago, when Minecraft Survival actually just came out, uh, I was searching around in the world files, and I realized, like, damn, what the hell is this file, so I loaded it up and I checked it out, and, it was it was something something else I could tell you that uh, this was one of the most legit servers or builds that me and my friend ever did not this castle itself but on this world um, over here on that beach right there is a spawn point this was our first castle before we completely destroyed it because we needed resources as you can see it's kind of meh so yeah because we have our quarry there, which we pulled up here. We started making the castle, and we decided, you know what? What the hell are we doing? This I made on a really boring day, because I was really bored, and I had nothing to do. Plus, you know, I had a lot of cobble. But then we moved over to this island, where the real builds start. This entire thing, as you can see, this is not a chunk ever. This used to be a mountain that went up to about... Kind of went about level with this, so right about here. We dug down, and we cut it all out. And in fact, this is fake land. Uh, there are some parts, I don't know where. Let's see if I can find it. Here they are. There's some parts where we just covered up because we were too lazy to go over it. And yes, I'm in creative because I don't feel like walking everywhere. It would take, literally, to walk to the other place that I'm going to have to. I'm going to just fly there because if I were to walk, it would take me about 7 to 10 minutes real time. Um... But as you can see, there's a door there that never used to be there. The only way to ever get in was, if I believe it's some here it is, was to use the secret entrance, which I was quite proud of because at the time, reeds stopped water, and there used to be reeds there, but unfortunately broke due to the patch, so I had to do that. But, uh, you know, you'd come down here, and then you'd have three paths. That... Hey, bro. Anyway, you'd have three paths to choose. Two paths would lead to your death, and one path would be the right way. Uh, the middle one was the right way for me, because I always felt that was the greatest. But I made sure that people thought they were going the wrong way, because I lit up the other ones while keeping this one dark. But, of course, of course, keep going farther, far enough. Although, there was never this many mob spawns back in the day. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh, shoot. Well... There you go. See? And that's what happens. Don't come on the server for ages. And I forget my way. Uh, was it down here? It was down here. There we go. Okay. So there was also that. You could also miss, because I had to dig through. Uh, I believe it was up this time. Um, yes. And this is where I made you feel like you lost yourself. And then you come up here. And this was a place that I just covered over on the top side. But yeah, as you can see, it was very, very uh, annoying to get to where it is. <gasps> infection. There's an infection in my world now. But yeah, uh, this was all natural, by the way. This was something, when I broke into it, I was like, well, damn, that's pretty amazing. But uh, there was also no stairs yet. Let me tell you how annoying that was. But yeah, you come up into here, and then, you know, you have this entire place... And to get all these rocks, after we ran out to go all the way up, we actually made this quarry. Which, with just regular... I mean, diamond was... Th there was no such thing as diamond. I mean, there was, but, I mean, you couldn't get it legitly yet. So, uh, this was all dug out with uh, iron. Eventually, diamond did come into the patch, and that made things a lot easier, but... I mean, that this was this was hell. And that these things never did anything. This is when levers first came out, man. I was so happy when that happened, but... Eesh. Yeah, look at that. Iron pickaxe. That poor thing. Let's see what we got. Nothing, eh? But yeah. Uh, even back then, this was... We were actually in this when the Halloween patch came out. And we had the nether portal. Along with my friends designed for a... Uh, emergency evacuation or emergency door. I guess this was the door because I, I forget exactly how it worked. I think if a creeper blew up blew up something 
was this? Yeah, it was these. Okay. Oops. Jeez. Um, yeah, anyway, the whole thing was that if he blows up a lot of this area, water comes down and floods the entire place, the entire sand thing comes down. Uh, but those never work, so we always had this set up, but uh, it never actually worked. It was quite sad. Eesh. Yeah. And this little thing up here, this little uh, thing that goes all the way up here, this is the first time Minecraft came out. Looking back on all this, it's really nostalgic because, you know, this is something... Oh, here's a good one. Um, you remember how when Notch decided it would be a great idea to not make the entire underground all bedrock and you could dig yourself to death? Well, I decided to go on an uh, excavation straight down before I actually knew digging down was a bad idea. And, uh, of course, I picked the one block that went right through bedrock. It's... It was, if uh, which one is this? Oh, this one's just, huh. Let's see where this goes. What a weird light update. That is so weird. Oh, well. But yeah, this was, that was, that was the first thing I had to giggle about in this game. This was also when you couldn't ride mine carts, then when they finally fixed mine carts, you couldn't get in a mine cart unless you had a three, uh, three high tunnel, otherwise you take suffocation damage. There was a lot of things. This is the very first floating island. This was like the very first floating island that ever made its way into Minecraft that wasn't like, you know, the flying, the biome that he made where there was uh, Skylands, which kind of said he got rid of that option because that was a really cool option. Anyway, so this is where 1.3 pre-release meets 1.7 because we did come back in in 1.7 to see what was going on with everything at this point we had diamond tools and diamond armor and everything uh, so we were able to do a lot more things unfortunately enchantments weren't out yet so you'll see you'll see um, how really bad stupid he got uh, so yeah, a lot of chunk updates and crap. It goes from 1.7, and then actually we went, we were pretty much looking around here. This is all 1.7 kind of terrain, but as we get back over to it, uh, there's going, to, we're going to e exit this chunk where it's going to be over this mountain because we decided we'd make this mountain our home, but uh, that never worked out, so we just made a little pit stop so that because. It takes you two full nights in Minecraft, two, you know, two night cycles to get here. Uh, so we had to make rest stops so that people could stay in here and sleep when uh, mobs were outside. But uh, after that, then we're back to the 1.3 pre-release uh, chunks. Because we explored over here before we went over there. But uh, we never decided to make this our home. Uh, it was perfect after we did until 1.8 came out and it ruined all the biomes by changing everything. And then, uh, let's just say we kind of quit after that because the biome was ruined. But I decided to go back into it to see what it was like and this is what I saw. But uh, let's see, where is it? Is it over there? Uh, you know what, let's go through the top. There are two ways in, because I was making a tunnel to the other base that we were just at, but, uh, well, it wasn't really that easy. I feel like I lost my bearings. Yeah, okay, yeah, here it is. Um, so welcome to the shitty snow biome. That is completely destroyed. Or at least I hope this is a shitty snow biome, otherwise I'm lost. Hmm. Might be lost. Who would possibly be lost? Well, this isn't turning out like I wanted it to. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Uh, God, I really wish. Okay, now there it is. Okay, so yeah, I have to keep going this way. Okay, back on track. Back on track. Um. So yeah. You guys, I'm sure you'll like what you see. If you don't like what you see, the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> but this was, this is pretty impressive. i not even trying to just gloat or anything. What we did was pretty phenomenal back 
when there was nothing really to do. Uh, but there was no, you know, help. There was not that many tools. Redstone had just come out, so we were kind of exploring, as you can see. Yeah. See all the messed up. It completely ruined the landscape for us. That was my mob trap system. I was pretty proud of that when I made that because it was the first thing. I tried note blocks, had all the stuff in, da 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 da. And then this is our base. Yeah, right? It's a great base. At least it was a great base until I found out what TNT was and I realized that you could use it again. Then I blew it sky high. So, me and my friend decided that I was an idiot and that uh, we should live underground. So, that's what we did. From that place, we actually dug straight down to bedrock and we started from there. And furthermore, like after all of that, we well, he he deemed it Dwarf Fortress from his favorite game, Dwarf Fortress, which he and his friend are trying to rebuild. But I don't think that's gonna happen. They always say they're gonna build something, but they never do. Oh, first time dispensers came out. I made a room for everything that just first came out. Man, I was psyched about this game. But in this game, I was known as a tunnel rat because I would always dig everywhere. Uh, these are all my little tunnels and everything. That's my observatory. Stupid game. Oh no, I just got... Shit. Well, no one doing that. <sighs> it doesn't matter, it only had one thing. Wait, yeah, this is this is what a storage room looked like back in the day. This was... Ugh. Golden leggings. You know how cool that was back then? Damn. Anyway, welcome to the Dwarf Fortress. That's the tunnel. That's the workshop. And this is the grand entrance. Yes, it's very nice. My friend actually found out this lighting system, and it works really nicely. Uh, the biggest reason that we stopped working on this uh, is because... Go like this. Not like that. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you get what's going on now, but... Oops. Oh. Okay, good. I'm just break that. Jesus, it's taking forever. There you go. That. Um, so... might have broken it somehow. Oh well. Okay. Well, I can't find it. So, I don't know. I think the server itself actually takes it off, but the fog's really bad. Like, it's just the second you step on this level, insta black. You just can't see anything. Anyway, this is our little fountain. This is what a fountain consisted of back. This is just, this is, this was amazing back then. But yeah, this was our farm. We needed a lot of food to be down here, so our farm system was top notch. Uh, we had a railroad, railroad cart system going around so that we could collect supplies. Uh, that was that was pretty. That was like top of the engineering thing back in the day. Uh, and this was where the farm actually led to. Let's see. Oh, a cow actually fell down here. But yeah, it would. Yes, and I did leave a lot of crap. But it went all the way up there. It flooded down into one, came down to this one. This was the second layer, then it came down to the third layer, the fourth layer, fifth, sixth, and of course the seventh layer being the actual farm itself. We got a lot of food from that. A lot of food from this, along with dyes and paper for books. This is this was the tree farm when it actually uh, came out, although my friend decided to use sideways logs, because that's him being an idiot, showing off to every single person he possibly could when I put the server back up. This was the art wing, and this took us like an hour to get every different painting. It was stupid. And this was the grand hall. This took forever. And this room was made right before uh, the Halloween update. And it scared the crap out of us because Notch said he was going to change the way torches worked, where they would only be on for so long, and then he was going to add lamps, which never happened. Hopefully this... Halloween patch, Jeb decides to add lanterns. Unless the redstone lamps are the lanterns, but I don't know. I think that should be that. Um, but yeah. So then, being the architect who built most of the place, he was pretty much the main founder of this place before I started helping him, he is my friend Mecca. And he... This was... God, before beds. These were beds. And this was our log. It was a weird time. Then we have my room, Wire King and Tunnel Rat, mostly because I did everything. I just, I tunneled everywhere. This was like a little indicator that someone was opening my door. That was the first time I 
uh, found redstone. This was my bed. This is like when uh, tunes were there. And I just put this in, but this. When diamonds came out, being the tunnel rat was very, very nice. Every time I died, I'd have to run back here to have to get new armor, so I'd always have a set with me. And I always had diamonds because I would always be tunneling everywhere uh, down here and finding diamonds. In fact, I actually... Where is it? Hold on. Uh, this area down here... This is new. Like I said, I'm trying to remaster everything. Uh, that's new too. This actually, this wall... This stopped right here. This was a wall before I started actually digging into it. Because we all decided we start playing it. Uh, I dug out all this area. And I found some diamonds. And then I dug all this out and I found a lot of diamonds. But that doesn't go anywhere yet. Uh... Let's see, this was Mr. Cake's room. He was a good friend at one point, but, uh, and he decided to stop talking to me, so, whatever. But he was our, well, no bread. He was the cook. And then we had our blacksmith, who was actually pretty good. He, he had a lot of, he always gave us iron and crap, although I always had diamond on me, so I never really had to worry about it, but, uh, where is it? There it is. You kidding me? When we saw, <laughs> back when we had nothing, man, that was that was that. And we'd always have like these random zombie sieges, sieges. So he would have that. Uh, let's see. What else is there to show? Oh, actually, the one biggest thing, the one thing that took, well, this Mecca. He took about two weeks finding enough gold to make that golden archway. We were eventually going to make each archway a different thing, but that never actually happened. So this this door right here, these systems where this closes and that opens, that was my first time with redstone. Let's see if I I don't think I remastered it yet. Um, my God, I remember when I still remember when I did this. This was so insane. Do you remember this, guys? Anybody remember what this was? That's right, this was the very first redstone repeater. This was before these things. God, this always took up so much space, it always annoyed me. I figured this out the first time I did redstone and I felt like a smart ass. But I could care less, dude. I was I was loving every second of it. I always gloat to people that I knew redstone and they didn't. Um but yeah, so this is uh zero point zero sec. Uh this is the bombarding wall because creepers would always go completely ape shit when we were down here. So, what this room was meant to be, before I go any further, this room was meant to be a uh, kind of bridgeway to another dwarven fortress that was going to be set up by another colony that we had coming in. But unfortunately, the patch came out and that never kind of happened because we never decided to do what we wanted to do. But this has to be suspenseful, so uh, let's see what's in here. Yeah, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, a lot of gold, some cactus, bunch of this stuff. Then we walk over here, you know, there's nothing because this was going to be the button room. But then we come around and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bam! That's right. Giant ass room. This room was freaking huge. I, I don't even remember the dimensions to this room. We carved this room out. <laughs> Look at all the damn hops. We carved this room out. Ooh. Didn't see you. Actually, I probably did. I probably just left it there because I didn't have a pick for it. Uh, But we started pretty much right on this level. And we just went that way and that way. And we just went around and dug it. And then uh, Mecca had the idea to make pillars. So we literally started to carve the pillars from the stone as we were taking it away. And... In the process of making it, when it was at this height, it was pretty cool. Because we'd have, like, uh, this pillar would extend all the way down to right here. But it would kind of be in, like, a bowl fashion where the wall would come up... Oh, shoot. The wall would come up in, like, a bowl like that. And it would be level with this. And then we started slowly digging around. It was really cool when we were making it. Uh, I never really got around to lighting up the bottom here because... Like I said, all in the past. But, uh, yeah. So that's that.
hopefully some people enjoyed that little tour of my old world. I'm actually going to be starting in it again. Hopefully some of my friends I can drag back in to test it out. Because this world I was really proud of when we made it. And with all the new stuff like pistols, this place could actually become really cool. Oh, jeez, I'm so tired. I gotta go to bed soon, too. Ugh, ugh. Also, this is a slime room. <laughs> that was that was another reason. Slimes were finally fixed. I came in and I just hear, like, this fapping noise. And I broke open a wall, and they literally just started coming from the wall. It was the most disgusting thing in the world. And this was when slimes actually started working. Oh, I just got rid of that, too. Damn it. But yeah, this, this area, let me tell you, this is the first time I found out slime spawned in a wall that wasn't, uh, a wall that, or a place that was lighted up, lit up. I didn't know that slimes could do that. But, uh, I'm exhausted. That was the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm probably going to be putting this up right after the LP I recorded about an hour ago. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Peace out.